I bought one of these TV VCR combos for 10 bucks locally. And it's been working fine, but it recently took a dump. Um, one of the solutions that people were talking about is to clean the VCR mode switch, which gets very dirty. I did clean it, and if you're wondering where the mode switch is on these units, it's on the right-hand side, and it's a little black circle with a stick sticking out of it. Now, I already cleaned the mode switch, and that's how dirty it was. But that didn't solve my problem. My the the issue I'm having is let me see. Turn it on. Now I used now now before it was eating the tape. Now I won't even accept the tape. So watch I put a tape in. I'm gonna show you on the side here how far it goes in. It doesn't go in all the way, it gets stuck. And then it ejects back out. See how far it's it's only gotten that far. And then he ejects it back out. So it should be going, should be going all the way down. And it appears as though it might be getting stuck on these little pins down there. And maybe this is not moving back. I did a visual inspection of all the gears and I don't see anything that looks out of place. Yeah, this won't go all the way in. If anybody knows how I can troubleshoot this thing, I'd really appreciate your knowledge. But a visual inspection shows everything is clear. You gotta be careful when working on these things. There's so many things to get electrocuted on. You don't wanna touch any of this. You don't wanna touch any of these capacitors back here because they all store electricity. Now, do you think if I clean the head, well, if I clean the head, it's still not solving the problem because it's not even taking the tape all the way in. So I'm just not sure. Fast forward, fast forward, rewind, on off. Let me show you an angle here. It appears as though it's not, it's getting stuck on those little pins right there. Now, are those pins supposed to go back when the tape is inserted because it seems like the tape's getting stuck on those two poles right there so i don't know these units are pretty easy to take apart it, the, the the vcr tray pretty much slides out of the unit you just have to bend these prongs back a little bit is all these photo sensors, people have talked about them. It's not the photo sensors because when, when you fast forward, last time I fast forward and, rewind, and rewinded, it um, it did fine. But I think that's the other sensor, the sensor on the inside, which is that right there. See that little clear plastic thing well, well there is a photo sensor in there and that detects whenever the tape is at the end of its point and it tells the machine to shut off so it doesn't break your tape but uh these photo sensors could be the problem they don't feel loose or anything they feel like they got oh, i should be touching that I feel like they got a good solder joint on a good tight solder joint on them 
I'm just not sure if I should just pitch this thing or or what. Everything seems to be in great shape. It was hard. It's hardly dirty in here at all. So I did clean one of the gears back here, or not the gears. One of the uh, one of the belts back there. Take that apart and clean. That's the only belt. This thing doesn't have very many belts on it. Uh, might have to uh, take this all the way off. I don't. I don't want to. Well, whenever I was cleaning the mode switch, I had to lift up on this and uh, and reach in there because, like, it will it'll only it'll only. It'll only lift up from the front and not in the back. Even though I have I have all the screws out. So the TV works fine. There's nothing wrong with the TV. I'm not even gonna bother showing you that. has any advice for me uh please let me know i'd appreciate it you all have a good day